New York Judge Merchant has just denied Donald Trump's bid to delay his April 15th trial related to hush money payments made to Sterling Daniels until the Supreme Court reviews claims to presidential immunity. In the court ruling just moments ago, Merchant said Trump had waited too long to raise the issue. He said, quote, Defendant had myriad opportunities to raise the claim of presidential immunity well before March 7, 2024. Judge Merchant clearly understands that Trump is only trying to push the trial date back as far as possible. Got to ask yourself, is that something a man who is certain of his innocence does? I certainly don't think so. Today's video addresses issues of recent concern surrounding Donald Trump. Let's join Pastor Jack Hibbs in analyzing possible hypotheses and drastic changes in the near future. This not only affects America, but also many countries around the world. You would think that America, when discovering and finding out that the elimination of this man and his plans to, to attack and wage a war against you personally and your freedom, Israel and other countries, you would think that you'd be relieved. Ladies and gentlemen, recently, uh, El Baghdadi, the founder, leader, and commander of ISIS, was destroyed. And some people were happy about that. Today, a man that many in the Analysts world say he was the most dangerous man in the world. He's gone now. And you would think everybody would be happy about that. Donald Trump's leadership and understanding is what America needs. Trump's straightforward and decisive approach is essential. Trump has weathered FBI audits, impeachment efforts and lawsuits, and the Speaker was grateful for his commitment to keeping his promises to the American people. The Speaker believes that the current state of the economy and educational system in the United States is the result of allowing harmful ideologies to infiltrate schools and calls for the restoration of America through faith on Jesus. God puts people in power, including Joe Biden, and Christians should strive to have a righteous leader who follows God's principles, like Donald J. Trump. It's interesting, the people who are, who are most held under his thumb are rejoicing. But we're Americans. I mean, we are honestly, we are so ignorant and we like it. We, we, you know what? Mikhail Gorbachev said, we need to take actions against the United States because the American has a great need, a great desire to not want to know. Brilliant words and true by Mikhail Gorbachev. But this man's gone and we have now, we have now a group of people that are condemning our military. They're condemning us. Secretary Mike Pompeo, they're condemning President Donald Trump for taking out the most dangerous man in the world. And those people, those four that I'm talking about, are the four horsewomen, horse ladies, <laughs> of, that have, listen, if you're a Democrat, listen up. Those women have completely captured your party. In fact, they snapped their finger, Nancy Pelosi does exactly what they want. Chuck Schumer, he bows to these four girls now. They're socialist. They're anti-Semitic. Listen, pro-Sharia. And their lunatic communities elected them. And they're saying that it's a sad day, it's a bad thing, should never have done this, Trump needs to be investigated, here we go again. Russia, Persia, and Turkey are in place and next door to Israel, posing a great threat, with Israel on high military alert and potentially considering a preemptive strike due to the escalating tensions and economic desperation of the key players mentioned in Ezekiel chapter 38. Israel's future is both horrific and fantastic. With threats from Iran, concerns about Russia's control, and the importance of knowing Jesus Christ as Savior emphasized in relation to biblical prophecy. 
Iran is making threats because they know that as long as Netanyahu is in power, they won't get away with anything and if Israel replaces him with someone who offers peace, they will be in grave danger. Russia forming coalition with other nations, Antichrist characteristics discussed, importance of relationship with God emphasized, Europe's spiritual deadness, believe in Jesus for salvation, pray and thank God for Bibles prophesies, recent events in the Middle East, including potential preemptive strikes and diplomatic developments, align with biblical prophecy of escalating tensions and potential conflict, with specific predictions being fulfilled regarding Israel, Russia, Turkey, and the United States. Turkey ceasefire in northern Syria, the lifting of sanctions and the potential removal of U.S. nuclear warheads from a base near the Syrian border. Along with Russia's influence in the Middle East, aligned with biblical prophecy. You saw Ezekiel 38 a moment ago and you say, Jack, what does this have to do with my life right here and now? Because you saw the, the name Persia up there. Russia, listen, Persia has been threatening us a lot these last few weeks. I don't know if you know that or not. Do you know that? Anybody watching that? Uh, they've gotten, Persia, uh, Iran's got caught. Oh, hmm, did I say that right? Iran got caught? Or has the previous administration got caught? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, did you know that the United States, did you know that we sent a hundred and some odd Billion, billion, listen, before you leave the building because you can't handle this much truth. Seriously, <laughs> did you know that a hundred and maybe 150 some odd billion dollars cash was loaded onto C-17 cargo planes and flown to Iran and given to the key leadership? No accountability. Congress didn't know. It was secret. Did you know that? You should know that. I hope you all knew that. They took that money and one of the things they did is that they weaponized their energy program. That now today on the morning news, this morning news, they're discussing regarding the ICBMs that Iran have proposed or have, can they reach, and I quote, Los Angeles, close quote. We bought them, we paid for them. This is serious. Serious stuff going on. My point is this. Listen, there's kingdoms that are colliding. Don't get bogged down in the politics. You'll, lose all, you'll, you'll miss all the fun. It's not politics. There's a war of evil and there's a war of good. And it's played out in the material world. Just like this sex ed stuff. People have an agenda and it's evil. And you should have an agenda for righteousness. And listen. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel to update our best videos.